Business owners will be honored tonight. They're going to be inducted into the African American Chamber of Commerce Black Business Hall of Fame. Christy Clement Williams with the Chamber is here to talk with us about the event. Good morning, Christy. Thanks so much for uh, waking up early with us. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So you guys are going virtual this year, much like everyone else during the pandemic. So talk to me a little bit about um, what's going to happen this evening. So this is our major fundraiser and it greatly assists in the AACC fulfilling its mission to develop strategic partnerships and connect African American businesses with major corporations, provide programming for more effective business outcomes and strengthen and grow the African American business community. And so tonight we are recognizing Terry England of New Horizons Child Care Center, Angelita Moreno Jones of Eastern Personnel Services, Jesse and Iris Rowley of Rocho Awards and Graphics. Robert Humphreys, who's very well known for bringing Black, Miss Black Cincinnati to the Cincinnati community. Lloyd Lockett of Kings and Queens Shoe Shine. Roland West of Empire Strategies Incorporated, a consulting firm. And Julian Rogers of the J. Rogers Group will receive the Chairman's Award tonight. So if you want to attend the event virtually on Facebook Live and uh, you haven't gotten your tickets yet, is there still time to, to sign up and get a ticket so you can take part? There is still time left. We do have a few dinners left. There's going to be a special shoebox dinner and that's part of the purchase package. And that will be prepared by a black business, Carolyn Wallace of The Perfect Brew. And if anyone's interested, they can go to african-americanchamber.com, click on the banner and they will link directly to the registration site. And how do you choose the honorees? I know that um, you know your information says they're trailblazers, they're, they are leaders in the community. How did you select this year's nominees specifically? This year, and we actually selected them very early in the year, so they've known about this for quite some time, but we thought we were going to have to cancel. We selected them based on their years in business and the knowledge that they provide, the breadth of their business, the community that they, the communities that they've actually served and what they've done, and they've given back to the community as well, the employees that they've hired. And so this year, they are all across all different businesses as in typical, uh, typically we do that. And we really do want them to be shine a light on our community, especially right now during the pandemic. There are probably a lot of young business owners who think that they're not going to get through this and they may not be in business this next year. But these businesses have gotten through very difficult times in the past. And so they can shed some light and shine some light for those who may be struggling right now. Yeah, a little ray of hope. All right, great. Well, thank you so much again for uh, talking with us this morning. We really appreciate it and wish you the best of luck tonight. Thank you, Anja. Appreciate it very much. Thank you.